For millions of people worldwide, surviving with erratic or inaccessible essentials such as water, sanitation and electricity is a daily reality. The non-profit organization Violence Prevention Through Urban Upgrading partnered with Formerly D Interactive, a Cape Town-based design firm, to create CitySpec, a mobile inspection and management system to improve basic service delivery in under-resourced areas. This is how it works. Using the CitySpec management tool, an administrator assigns inspection tasks, such as monitoring the condition of communal taps and toilets, which are pushed to a community worker's entry-level smartphone. Here, tasks are listed according to their proximity to the inspector using the GPS location of each item. Using a simple reporting wizard, workers log fault details, capture GPS coordinates, and capture a photo record. Reports are sent directly from the app to the cloud-based administrative dashboard as soon as an internet connection is available. At the office, fault reports are generated by an administrator and sent to the respective municipal department via a simple automated fault reporting pathway. From there, the status of repairs is monitored via the CitySpec app. Any unrepaired faults are escalated back to the line department for further investigation. The taps and toilets in Monobisi Park, um, there are not many, uh, but uh, those that are there are useful to the community. So violence prevention through urban upgrading uh, is trying to improve the quality of life in low-income areas. Uh, and we do it with very simple interventions, such as checking water taps and toilets for the functionality, all the way up to a very complex one, uh, where you build a library and ensure that every child has access to a book in a safe and secure environment. In 2011, BPUU, in partnership with City of Cape Town, developed a paper-based monitoring and reporting tool for water taps and toilets in Monobisi Park. What became evident was that the paper-based system was very labor-intensive and cumbersome. There was always a lag in terms of reporting on stats that were generated from the project. We felt that we needed to upgrade to a more streamlined process and that's when we partnered with Formula D Interactive to embark on developing a digital system. Formula D Interactive is a design agency and what we focus on doing is designing interactive learning environments. And the way that we do that is through the use of innovative technologies uh, combined with digital design in order to create engaging experiences that have the outcome of a deep learning experience. It was identified that VPUU could use technology to great effect in one of their programs and uh, so it just made sense that us as a technology partner uh, would be able to contribute in a meaningful way. Since June 2015, CitySpec has been piloted in Monwabisi Park, an informal settlement in Cape Town with approximately 25,000 residents in 6,500 households. It was identified in June 2016 that 44% of the 177 communal taps were faulty. A fault report was sent to the Department of Water and Sanitation and taps are currently being repaired. The rollout of CitySpec in this community hopes to increase tap functionality to 90%. When designing and developing the CitySpec application, we had to take a number of points into consideration. We had to keep the design uh, very simple and structured so that the information and interaction was clear to the users on a very small screen. In addition to that, because the field workers would be interacting with the phone in direct sunlight, we had to keep the layout very contrasting visually. Um, in terms of the code architecture, we had to devise a very intelligent syncing system that allowed users to log faults when they were offline in the field and then have that sync up to the remote database when they were back online. First time, we report in papers to write down. Now it's easy to, to use the cell phone. Now I'm able to use the touch screen because I, I, I'm never able to use it before. So now I can. The maps generated by the GPS coordinates of items allow for the detection of reoccurring problems such as fault hotspots. Location data in relation to faults when it concerns public infrastructure such as communal taps and communal toilets 
is valuable when it comes from lots of different members in the community and it is specific about the item that they are reporting. So when you've got a GPS coordinate and a photograph as well as information about the status of that item, tap or toilet, you can be really sure that it is that particular item that's not functional. And when you have a large area that's being covered, like a large informal settlement might be three or four kilometers in extent, you need to know are all of the different areas in that settlement satisfactorily serviced? And that only comes through when you're getting a very clear GPS coordinate. The city spec has made the reporting easier in terms of capturing records from the paper based from to the computer system. So when you're capturing right at the moment on the item, it's already been captured in the system itself. So there's no duplicate, there's no misspellings or misinformation capturing. And it's emailed straight to the city department. They will receive it immediately and then they will communicate via email just when are they coming to do the repairs. When we were using the paper-based form, the response was more like in two days or in three days' time. It changed from days to hours. Doing the whole process easy and fast, I think that's a major benefit. Although ensuring optimal functioning of basic services, such as water and sanitation, is ultimately the responsibility of municipalities, CitySpec can empower organizations and municipalities, along with the support of community workers to take action in streamlining this process. CitySpec has proven its potential during successful testing from 2014 to 2016, and with further pilots across Cape Town on the horizon, this award-winning solution has the potential to be made available to organizations worldwide.